most people, even dedicated off-road fans like me, old timers that have been around a while, have no idea that a small company out of Butler, Pennsylvania, created the first Jeep in just 49 days. Now this story, the American Bantam Company, is both inspirational and bittersweet. The Bantam Jeep was built in response to the Army's demand for a small scout reconnaissance vehicle to compete with the German Volkswagen bucket car that was terrorizing across the continents of Europe and Africa. Bantam was a maker of small cars at a time when America was resistant to anything but big automobiles. The predecessor to this, the American Austin, was popular with a lot of movie star celebrities like Buster Keaton, Charlotte Greenwood, Ernest Hemingway, and the Argane Kids. It was also popular with the college crowd, but to the rest of America, it was the butt of jokes. All of this criticism was based on the size of these small cars. They were extremely well made. They were designed and engineered by some of the best ever. You know, before 1940, the company never even made a profit. In fact, they went into bankruptcy a few times. And this was during the tenure of Roy S. Evans. He was one of the greatest salesmen of all time, and he knew the only hope for Bantam was to sell cars to the government. War had erupted in Europe. The Nazi war machine was moving unchecked across the continent. It was just a matter of time before we were going to be forced to join the Allied efforts. The U.S. Army was behind the times in regards to modernization. They'd been dragging their feet on the development of a all-purpose scout and tactical vehicle. Bantam had a solution to this problem, and they fought tooth and nail to convince the Army that a small car maker was the right company for this job. The miniseries will adhere to the facts and introduce you to some true legendary characters like the Build Anything Harold Christ, Roy S. Evans, Captain Robert Howey, builder of that famous belly flopper, Frank Finn, General George Marshall, Senator at the time Harry S. Truman, Colonel W. F. Lee, Carl Probst, Barney Roos, developer of the Willys Go Devil engine, and Colonel Dwight D. Eisenhower and some others. But the real star was the Bantam Jeep, the grueling tests it endured, the incredible way it was conceived and assembled, handmade with parts off the shelf. Its first trials in battle and the political and industrial maneuvering to steal it from its creators. It's actually the ultimate David versus Goliath story and it's long overdue. The production company behind this is Pennsylvania based MC2 Incorporated. 501c3 not-for-profit that has been serving the arts through media since 1996. Anise Parker, one of the producers of the popular ABC hit series My Wife and Kids, is spearheading a great production team that includes Walter Schaefer and Carl Millender. The cast will include a number of familiar faces and depending on the budget some well-known stars. So you ask Who's going to want to see this visionary miniseries? Well, I can tell you, the millions of people who have owned a Jeep, a Toyota, a Range Rover, a Bronco, any other four-wheel drive vehicle, plus the tens of millions of people who have served beside the Jeep in the military, history buffs internationally, and fans of a good emotionally compelling story will need to see this. Fifty percent of the funds from this miniseries is going to go to not-for-profits and veterans and off-road groups like mine, the Blue Ribbon Coalition. We'll use that money to keep trails open. We're going to empower and educate folks to be on the ground to make sure we have a place to go four-wheeling now and into the future. You know, combat veterans are going to benefit from this miniseries as well and their families. The funds that go to the organizations helping veterans will make a big difference. For me, an old Vietnam vet, just watching some of the initial scenes unlocks some memories, the Jeep, the wars, 
that help in the healing process. So if we can help veterans through this series, you'll be making a big impact by helping us. So this will be a heartwarming drama, an action film, a political roller coaster with all documented facts crafted into a fine miniseries for international television. Donate to the American Bantam Jeep Project, write it off on your taxes, benefit some other not-for-profit organizations, receive some great gifts, and most importantly, help us produce a sensational miniseries that will stand the test of time like the Jeep itself. <laughs>